Hello everyone, in the episode 4 of this series. In this episode, I will be making the Bargain character, from the stages of grief. This character was supposed to be the third character to make, but it took me so long to get a satisfying result, for the reference, and making depression was much easier. But when I finally got the idea for it, it turned out to be one of my favorite characters in this series, and the most difficult to achieve as it has lots of steps to complete. First, I started experimenting with the silhouette of the character to make sure that the shape is readable. I had some references that I got my idea from, but I wanted to test more shapes. Now after choosing the most suitable silhouette, I started drawing the character and the outfit that it will be wearing. I wanted this character to be like a wandering merchant that has many stuff to offer and use. A mixture of an adventurous character that can wield a sword and a merchant to trade with. Now after finishing drawing the character, I put some references to the side to choose colors from and create my own color palette. I choose colors that work together and then draw some patterns to give the coat more of a traditional clothes look. I experimented a bit with the skin tone and settled on a bluish green tone. The next step is blocking. I try to replicate the same shapes and sizes that I drew with subdivided cubes for the body and cylinders for the fingers. Now I start merging every limb and sculpt the muscles. I'm not the best at anatomy and I always keep references on the side, so sculpting fantasy characters is more relaxing and forgiving and recommended for beginners. I tried the Auto Retopo in ZBrush and added a lot of curve guides for the face and painted the density map, but still wasn't satisfied with the result. The result wasn't as clean as I wanted to be, and it wasn't really optimized, so it will give me a lot of problem if I try to animate it in the future. So I went back and made a manual retopology and it was much cleaner and much lighter to work with. Now that the mesh is ready, I marked the seams to unwrap the character, giving more space for the face to get more details.
Now in Substance Painter, I start creating the base color for each material and layering some other grunge maps on the top and masking them using the curvature and thickness that I got from baking. And I added some manual brush strokes to add variety. This character was actually my favorite in this series because of the satisfying cloth simulation that I got during the design of its outfit. I was learning Marvelous Designer recently and I wanted for one of my characters to have completed clothing that a blender can't handle well. In Marvelous, you draw the sewing patterns and then mark seams along the edges to sew them together. It's a refreshing workflow away from all the modeling and sculpting issues. I can't say much about it yet, because I'm still learning it, but definitely we'll make more videos about it in the future. You can export the OBJ to Substance Painter with the UVs to texture the cloth. But in Blender, I export the animated Olympic and the OBJ to take the UVs from, because the Olympic for now have a glitch with exporting UVs. Last but not least, I made some assets and gadgets for the character to match it with their friends, but texture these in Blender. For the sleeping bag, I made a simple cloth simulation with some collision objects to give it the shape I need. Blender is also very capable of making high quality textures. Here, I draw an opacity map to make the cloth on top look more complicated and torn. This is all for today, see you in the final episode of this series next week.